Welcome to Comet Chasing, where the night sky unveils its wandering celestial wonders. January's celestial tapestry is marked by subtle yet significant shifts in the comets we've been tracking. Comet 12P Ponce Brooks, detectable in binoculars, continues to brighten as it nears its closest approach to the sun in April. Meanwhile, Comet 62P Tsuchinshan, having recently passed its closest approach to the sun, embarks on a slow journey out of the inner solar system. Additionally, Comet C2021-S3 is now visible in small telescopes. Let's delve deeper into these celestial journeys and uncover the marvels they hold for us this month. 12P Ponce Brooks, a well-documented Halley-type comet with a storied history, is currently capturing center stage. With an orbital period of 71 years, this comet's journey through our solar system is a rare treat, potentially observed as far back as the year 245, its recent behavior has been particularly notable, marked by significant outbursts that have dramatically altered its appearance in the night sky. These outbursts have led to an intriguingly asymmetrical coma, constantly expanding and evolving. In late July, 12P experienced an unexpected surge in brightness, jumping from magnitude 16.6 .6 to 11.6 .6 in just a single day. This surge revealed a unique coma shape, characterized by a distinct notch and a pair of horns that persisted for weeks. Recently, these horns have elongated and curved, adding to the comet's dynamic visual profile. In periods between outbursts, the comet's appearance tends to uniformity. Ponce Brooks is an evening comet, best seen from the northern hemisphere. Beginning January 13th, it becomes more visible in binoculars, though it can be observed in small telescopes even before this date. This month, it traverses the constellation of Cygnus, moving eastward away from evening twilight. This journey takes it through a field rich in stars and clusters, offering stunning views. Its current magnitude stands at 7.8 and is rapidly brightening. The coma spans five arc minutes with a center noticeably brighter than its diffuse edges. Observers, particularly after each outburst, should watch for jets and other features under high magnification, and revisit nightly as the comet's appearance changes. 12P Ponce Brooks is heading towards its closest approach to the sun on April 21, 2024, at a distance of 0.8 astronomical units. The comet's last perihelion was in early January 1953, marking its current appearance as a long-awaited return. In late April, near its perihelion, this comet is predicted to reach a peak brightness of magnitude 2.7, its best visibility at this near-maximum brightness is anticipated in early April, with a magnitude of around 2.8. While there may be significant anticipation and claims about the comet's obvious visibility to the naked eye, our current predictions suggest it will be discernible, but not prominently so, from late March in the Northern Hemisphere and early May in the Southern Hemisphere. These expectations may change if the comet's brightness varies unexpectedly. In any case, 12P Ponsbrooks is expected to present a striking view in small telescopes and should be relatively easy to locate. 62 P Tsuchinshan, currently visible through small telescopes with apertures of 90 mm or larger, offers a captivating view for comet chasers. This comet made its closest approach to the Sun on December 25th, at a distance of 1.3 astronomical units. At the end of January, it will pass within 0.5 astronomical units of the Earth, which is half the distance to the Sun. Last month, we eagerly anticipated 62 P. Tsuchinshan's close passage near the famed Leo triplet of galaxies, including M65, M66, and NGC 3628. Thanks to Radu Mihayangal, we have a stunning time-lapse video capturing the comet's journey near these galaxies on December 27th. This time-lapse consists of 115 two-minute exposures using a luminance filter. Angel points out the fascinating contrast in light travel time. The comet's light takes 4.4 minutes to reach us, while the light from the galaxies spans an immense journey of 35 to 40 million years. The total elapsed time of the video is about four hours, in real time, the comet's motion is imperceptible, like the vast majority of comets. However, by noting its position relative to the stars and stepping away from the eyepiece for a brief period, 
Upon return, the comet's movement becomes notably apparent. This observation is one of Angle's first from his newly completed observatory in Parjol, Romania, a project he began last summer. 62P slash Tsuchinshan is a morning comet observable from both northern and southern hemispheres. The comet starts the month in the constellation Leo at magnitude 8.6 and is expected to fade slowly as it moves into Virgo by month's end. It will be observable in small telescopes throughout most of January, with the moon's brightness posing a challenge after the 24th. Through the eyepiece, look for a coma measuring 5.5 arc minutes with a center much brighter than its edges, though still diffuse. A short, thin tail resembling a bright streak within the coma may be visible. Starting on the 15th, the comet will traverse the Virgo cluster of galaxies, presenting intriguing views in larger apertures or via imaging as it passes close to fainter galaxies in the cluster, though it won't approach the brighter members closely. 62P slash Tsuchinshan's orbit brought it closest to the Sun in late December, at a distance of 1.3 astronomical units. The comet has an orbital period of 6.2 years, reaching as far as 5.5 astronomical units from the Sun at its most distant point. Its close approach to Earth at the end of January, within 0.5 astronomical units, is a highlight of its current orbit. Discovered on January 1, 1965 at the Purple Mountain Observatory in Nanking, 62P Tsuchinshan has a rich observational history. In 1965, G. Sitarsky noted that the comet had a close encounter with Jupiter on December 12, 1960, at a distance of 0.145 astronomical units. Prior to this encounter, the comet had an orbital period of 7.15 years, highlighting the dynamic nature of its journey through our solar system. C 2021-S3, PANSTARS, now visible in small telescopes, is an intriguing object for comet observers. It was discovered on September 24, 2021, by the PANSTARS survey at Haleakala, adding another notable discovery to the survey's impressive track record. Although its closest approach to the sun will be in mid-February, it will reach maximum brightness in mid-March, currently predicted to be magnitude 9.5. C 2021-S3, PANSTARS, is primarily a morning comet visible from the southern hemisphere. Beginning the month in the constellation Centaurus at magnitude 10.5, the comet is expected to brighten by about 0.6 magnitudes, transitioning into Scorpius by the end of the month. The best visibility will be late in January as viewed from the southern hemisphere. The comet's coma measures 1.5 arc minutes in diameter, with a center that is much brighter than its diffuse edges. Given its current magnitude, detecting C 2021-S3 pan stars in a small telescope at low magnification may be challenging. We suggest observers first locate the predicted position of the comet with a wide field eyepiece, center it, and then switch to a higher magnification for easier spotting. It will, of course, be more easily visible in larger apertures. C 2021 S3, PANSTARS, is approaching its perihelion, which will occur on February 14, 2024. At this point, the comet will be 1.3 astronomical units from the Sun. In addition to our featured comets, there's an interesting rendezvous to note for astrophotographers and observers with large instruments in the Southern Hemisphere. Comet C2023-H2, Lemon, will be passing near a cluster of 11th magnitude galaxies in the constellation Grus between January 5th and 10th. It's important to note that Comet C2023-H2 is primarily observable from the Southern Hemisphere and requires large aperture telescopes for viewing. The comet's coma, measuring about 1.5 arc minutes, may not be large enough to make an interesting photograph due to its relatively small size. However, the juxtaposition of the comet with these distant galaxies could offer a compelling composition for those with the right equipment and expertise. As we close this month's journey through the fascinating world of comets, we invite you to step outside and look up at the night sky. Whether you're in the northern or southern hemisphere, equipped with binoculars, a small telescope, or even a large aperture scope or doing astrophotography, comets have something special to offer. Observing comets is a way to connect with the cosmos, to witness the silent and majestic dance of these ancient celestial travelers. 
Each comet with its unique path and characteristics tells a story that has been unfolding for millennia. By observing them, we become part of that grand narrative. Remember, the beauty of comet chasing lies in the quiet moments of discovery, the patience in tracking them down, and the thrill of finally catching a glimpse of these elusive wanderers. Whether you're tracking 12P slash Ponsbrooks as it brightens in the night sky, following 62P slash Tsuchinshan on its outward journey, or capturing the subtle glow of C2021 S3, Panstars, each observation is a moment of connection with the universe. So we encourage you to take the time to observe these comets and others. Share your experiences with fellow comet chasers and let the night sky be your guide to the wonders of our universe. Until next time, clear skies and happy comet chasing.